What's up everybody and welcome back to An Idiot's Road to Glory, episode number 95, where we're jumping straight in with completing flashback David Louise, basically, because if I show you comment of the day while we flick through these player prices, I've got all the prices noted down so I can tell you guys how much it costs to do the squad, so don't worry about trying to see them all really, really quickly. I just flick through it as I was recording just so that you guys can see. Well, basically, well, there was three co top, three comments at the top, three top comments one from Liam Janemar, one from Ben0607, and one for Hitik Kumar, who kind of all said the same thing. Well, no, the first two said the same thing. Liam and Ben said that I should do Flashback Devil Louise, and Hitik said that was winding me up basically about not playing too much foot jump. So we'll come on to Hitik's one in a second, but first of all, from Liam and Ben and so many other you guys who suggested to do Flashback Devil Louise, that is exactly what we are doing, and I'm just flicking through and showing you guys the squads that I completed it with. So, the first one was the Brazil squad, which cost me 104,600 coins, which is pretty decent. We used my Fernandinho and a couple of other untradeable, like, 84s for it. So, it should have cost 150k, but it cost me 104. And then number two was the Premier League squad. Yeah, or was it the Chelsea squad? I'm not sure, but it should have cost 46,000 anyway. Or rather, it did cost me 46,000, but it should have cost 105. So we use my Inform Untradeable Laporte for that one, which saved me an absolute fortune. And then there was this one. You can see at this point, like, I've frozen the footage. We had 7 minutes, 28 seconds left. So at about 20 minutes to go, I realized that I hadn't bought any of the players and hadn't even designed this squad. I designed the other two, but I didn't know what I was doing for this one at all. And I was in a mad panic to buy all the players from the other two squads, though. I had one of them concepted in. I had one of them on Footbin. That was really, really cheap. And then this one, I literally had to just go and steal one of the top co top squads from Footbin to do it. So it didn't save any coins on that at all. It said it cost 90k. It cost me 90k. I had to buy all of the players. And the whole thing, all in all, to get this flashback to Louise cost 240,000 coins, which isn't actually too shabby because it was meant to cost 350, but we so we basically saved like 110k from using untradables. Now, obviously, I said this in one of the other videos, untradables do have a value. Like, they don't have their coin value to be able to sell, but they are useful and you can use them for other stuff if you're not going to use them for this. So, I don't subscribe to the way of thinking of, oh, that only cost me 10k because I used all my own tradables. That's not a thing. Like, it did still, you did still use stuff that had a value to you, but actual coin, liquid value, 240k, plus the untradables, not too shabby. You should have cost 350 if you did it all from scratch. I think that's pretty decent, to be honest with you. And he looks absolutely mental. Like, his stats are ridiculous. I know you guys are telling me to do it. And we made more than that just from investing in Perisic because of this card anyway. So I think that's a pretty decent decent return, to be honest. Like, Flashback David Louise has got me a Flashback David Louise for free, is essentially how you can think of it. So I think that's pretty good. And Marquinhos was also annoying me. So anyway, if we jump to live, anyway, you can see him stuck in my squad. And we can do the other comment of the day or address it, which come from Hitty saying that I didn't play any foot champs. <laughs> he said, we know, Andy, nothing new here. Well, yeah, that was technically I don't always play much foot champs. I usually play about... 15, 16, 17 games to get my 14 wins and get my two red player picks. Last week, I played about eight. So we're going to open them for champs rewards in a second, which are going to be absolutely tragic. But we do have the packs from Flashback Davo Louise as well, which could actually be quite decent. And obviously, as you guys can see, we have got David Louise chilling in the team. So I've put an anchor on him and it gives him mental stats. I was torn between anchor and sentinel. The only difference being with Anchor, as you can see, he gets 99 in every single defending stat apart from Marken, which is 97. And he gets 99 jump and 99 aggression, 95 strength. Whereas if you put the Sentinel on, he gets 99 in every defending stat apart from Marken, which is 97. Then he gets 99 jump and 99 strength, 99 aggression. So he gets an extra four strength. However, with Anchor, I've sacrificed the four strength to get five acceleration and five sprint speed. So swings and round arts, but. That is what I've gone for, and I think it's going to work pretty well. He's actually ridiculous. Like He's got 90 ball control, 85 reactions. 60 rebalance isn't awful for a centre-back, I suppose. It's not amazing, but it's pretty decent. 78 agility. His passing is really good. It's actually crazy. Like, he's a really good all-round card. You could probably play him CDM, to be honest with you. But he's going to play centre-back for me for now. The only question really is, do I also get a Van Dyke? So that's a question to throw to you guys. I'm 
currently rocking it like this, but I, I, when I had this Marquinhos, who actually got upgraded, to be honest with you. Unfortunately, I've been a little bit AFK. If you follow me on my main channel as well, you might have seen that we've started the Ultimate FIFA series, so I've been recording loads of different stuff for that and doing other bits and bobs. So I was a little bit AFK from the Road to Glory, unfortunately, and we didn't sell this guy when he hit his max price of like 140k. I think he's dipped down to about 115, 100 and maybe even 10, 120, something like that anyway. So not amazing. We definitely could have made coins on him, but we didn't because he went up from 87 to 88. But we're going to get our coins back even after tax. And then Dominic Calvert-Lewin is, we bought him for 115k. He's still 115k. So it's not too bad. We, have, we stopped playing him. He, he's really he's a really odd one like he's very very good at just running a straight line but he doesn't have skill moves and he's a bit clunky to dribble with and his passing is not particularly good and yeah i don't know it was a weird one i started using crespo instead who didn't perform particularly amazingly but i did rage quit one of them games and did i lose one of them no i didn't lose one did i maybe i did i can't remember no i'm pretty sure i didn't i'm pretty sure i won two and then rage quit when i was drawing because i couldn't be bothered to play for champ so anyway yeah it's an interesting one. I'm going to sell these two guys on, but if you noticed at the end of the last episode, I think we had 2.35, 1.35, I wish we had 2.35, 1.35 million coins. We've now got 1.02, which means we spent 320k. However, obviously we bought that Marquinhos for 100k. So we've only, we've only lost 220. I don't know why I added it up to the 240. I'm not sure. Maybe we sold something. I don't really know, but we still got over a million coins. We need to sell that Rashford. Not Rashford. You can't sell Rashford. These are tradable. It's Dominic Calvert-Lewin and the Marquinhos, which will get us some coins. And also, again, me being a little bit AFK, I've still got a crap load. Even though we made a fortune on these Perisages, I've still got a crap load of Thomas Muller's. Just, I say a crap load. I think we've got about 10 or 11. He's unfortunately dropped in price, or he's gone back down to what I bought him for, which is kind of annoying. So what I'm going to do is just sit on him until the next flashback comes out, because they confirmed that there will be two flashbacks during this Prime Icon moments thing that's happening promo at the moment. And they've only had one, the David Louise, and that's what made Perisic go mental in price. So hopefully the next one's just as good, and we can also sell this mother on for a crap load of coins. So... There is that. I've also, as you guys can see, sitting in the frame, got a new microphone. I usually, I used to use a really, really old mic that I've had for years that's like kind of over here and it makes everything sound a little bit tinny and a bit far away. This one, unfortunately, if I do go far away, it does sound a little bit like I'm in a cupboard. Like you actually have to be really close to it for it to work. So it has to go in the frames. So let me know what you think about that. I don't think it matters too much on the Road to Glory channel because we are kind of just sitting here chilling and playing FIFA. Maybe I'll scrub the show and I'll get a bit annoying, but I mean, I just hold the whiteboard up like that. That's my, that's my add up of how much this SPC costs to do and how much it roughly costs to do. It doesn't seem to make too much difference, even for scrub the show down it's in the frame. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that, but I think it sounds really, really, really good. And also, you can do cool little effects like... I can make myself sound like I'm on the radio coming at you from Andy's Road to Glory channel. I, I don't know what people on the radio say. You can do all mad stuff with this little mixing thing that I've got for it. But anyway, new microphone, new centre-back. New foot champs and Div Rivals rewards as well. Christ knows what rank we're going to be in Div Rivals because I barely played anything. We got silver two in foot champs. I think we were eight and two. A mega pack, 15k coins, a rare gold pack, and one player pick, but a max of 84. We're not playing foot champs this week, boys. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Do you know what? This is classic and idiot road to glory. When I made that triple comment of the day thing, I was going to say that this week with my new David Louise, and I'm potentially going to buy a Van Dyke, the 90 rated one. I was going to get at least gold three. Oh, it sounds really like I'm just making this up now, doesn't it? Oh, for God's sake, man. I was going to say maybe, basically what I was going to say is that Katie's going back up to Liverpool this weekend, but we're going away in a week or so, for a week. So I've got loads of recordings scheduled in, and I'm like recording loads of the Ultimate FIFA series this weekend, the Squabbler Showdowns and all sorts of stuff like that. So basically, I'll be home alone, and I was going to say, during the gaps in recording, I might just try and smash out a crap load of foot champs and actually finish foot champs this week, because I won't be able to play it the week after. It would appear that I haven't qualified for foot champs. We just got our little 82 retoot. Oh, I'm actually so triggered. I'm such a moron. When I see my Div Rivals reward things then, it's when I realized that it's currently Friday. 
and I didn't redeem the tokens. I don't even think I've got enough tokens. What made it click in my head was that, oh yeah, well, rank four as well, which is absolutely terrible. You don't even get to choose. You just get given 4K in some packs. I was like, oh, we've only got a thousand tokens. We'll have to win a load of games tonight to qualify. Foot champs has already started. I'm not qualified. I'm an absolute moron. Oh dear. Well. 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 I don't know what to say, really, other than I suppose we can just open the packs and you guys can let me know what we can do with the team from when I'm back from skiing. Oh, I'm such an idiot. This is actually well frustrating. I was really looking forward to... Uh, this is sound, going to sound totally false because I haven't qualified, but I genuinely was looking forward to playing for champs with Davo Luis, at least for the first, like... I can bear with it. I can enjoy it and deal with it in, like... I enjoy it for, like, three, four or five games, and I can deal with playing it up to about seven, and then after that, I have to stop and have a big break, and then I can come back and play, like, three or four or five more, and then maybe grind out, like, up to six, and it starts to do my nutting again. But that's, like, enough games if I organise it to play in the morning Friday, the evening Friday, the morning Saturday, the evening Saturday. I can get most of them done without driving me too mental. I oh, okay. Well... I don't really deserve to pack anything at this point, but we have got crap loads of packs, so at least we'll open them and see what we can get. That's so frustrating. Okay, so we got two 15k packs from our Div Rivals rewards. Last week, obviously, in Div Rivals, we packed ourselves a Crespo, <laughs> which is pretty mental. My pack look has been absolutely stupid recently. We started it off with Hakimi, which is probably what I deserve, to be honest with you guys, after that calamity. It is pretty stupid the way the system works. I'm not going to lie. Like, obviously, this is completely my own fault. But at the same time, I have played over the past three weeks to gold three and got my 2,000 tokens to redeem, which is fine. But upon collecting my foot champs rewards, each week I've had like five, six, seven hundred tokens just sitting there. And it gives me 2,000. And I don't then have 2,700. I just still have 2,000 because you can't get more than that. And then 700 tokens just get completely wasted, which has meant that this week, I would have had enough tokens to qualify by just claiming my rewards anyway, if it would have let me keep them tokens. Does that make sense? But it doesn't, because it only gave me 1,000 this week. And even though it's 6,000 to qualify for three weeks, and across them three weeks, I've earned 8,000 tokens. I only got 1,000 of them this week, so I can't qualify. Like, obviously, I've missed the deadline anyway. And even if I had redeemed them yesterday, the odds of me, like getting 10 wins in Div 3 or wherever I'm in to get the 2,000 tokens in one day is slim. So we would have probably missed it regardless. But I just think that's a little bit stupid. Like, I should have been, after finishing Foot Champs last week, I should have been able to just auto-redeem because I had my 2,000 tokens already there because I've earned so many of them that I've just been lost to the system because you can't get more than 2,000. I don't know. It's pretty stupid. It's very frustrating. I mean, the whole system is just frustrating about how you'd have to redeem your tokens anyway. But whatever, we won't get into a money rant. We're just going to get some packs and... Maybe we can cheer me up with a decent pack. These are only 15k packs, so I'm not... Hello, what is this? I want to watch. Okay, <laughs> is that... I want to guess Bentaleb, but I don't think it is. Booda Boos, there we go. Close, I know it begins with B. I was just guessing random Algerians. Okay, <laughs> all right, that's all right. That's a one to watch. I can't imagine he's... Maybe he's worth some coins because of the SBC, actually. Or maybe we can just chuck him into some SBCs ourselves. And just have a bit of fun and make a video out of it. Yeah, he's like 13k. So I think maybe, let me know in the comment section, the best thing to do with him is to just go and do, rinse a couple of them, untradeable, any SBC, any want to watch SBCs, and maybe we'll get a decent one from the summer instead. Let me know what you think. Maybe we'll get ourselves a Richarlison or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so that was a reasonable pack. This one's a prime gold players pack. We have got ourselves a walkout. Come on, my pack. Look, you're actually doing bits for me. What's this? French. See, Matweedy. No, it's Kante! <laughs> oh, it's always my Tweedy, but it's not because my pack luck is stupid at the moment. I've 100% joined the red list. I'm not even bothered. Oh my god, how much is Kante? What is my pack luck? Every video I've uploaded, like the past four Road to Glory videos, have just been me packing stupid stuff. It's 250k? Oh my god. <laughs> what on earth is going on? <laughs> Oh, my lord. Is he... Please be... Tra he's tradable. Oh, he's tradable. <laughs> That's ridiculous. My pack looks gone stupid. Look, someone's bid 263k on him. Oh, that is magical. Okay. Maybe we could even put him in our team now, actually, as well. I am a big fan of Fabinho is the only issue. So I might sell him and then use the coins to buy 90 rated 
Van Dyke instead. Just because... Basically, the reason I don't want to get Van Dyke as well as David Luiz is because of Matiago Silva. But and then I'm thinking, is the sentimental value... Like, I've had 122 games out of him. Is the sentimental value of Matiago Silva actually limiting the quality of my team now because I don't want to change him when actually I should? And I could make the team better by getting a 90-rated Van Dyke instead and just put David Luiz there and Van Dyke on the left. So I think that... I think it probably is right that I'm just holding on to him because he is fucking Miss Thiago Silva. But we essentially got him for free because we packed his blue card, which we then traded into this one for, uh, with like 10k of stuff to upgrade to this one. So we can chuck him into another SPC. Maybe we should have chucked him into the David Luiz one, to be honest with you. That would save me even more coins. But we can throw him into something else down the line. Maybe a prime icon SPC or something like that will be helpful for. And we can essentially have a full Premier League team and flashback Danny Alves. But... I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest with you. The Premier League is the league that I watch. We can start improving it with, like, icons and stuff like that. I mean, we can even bring Kante in for Fabinho if we want to at this point. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll give it a go. Maybe I'll give him another try because I didn't particularly like Kante the first time I used them. But the game's changed. The meta has changed. Maybe Kante would be absolutely sick. Anyway, let's open another pack. Can we get back-to-back -back walkouts again? We can't. I don't care. We got Kante. That's actually crazy. My pack looks stupid. Okay, that is Jao. Oh, no, Ruben Neves, not Jao Moutinho. Jao Mario. Jao Mario's gone for Inter, isn't it? Jao Moutinho's gone for Wolves. Anyway. Oh my god. I, I, it doesn't even matter at this point. Like, we still got quite a few packs left to go. Was that from the David Louise pack? I feel like it might have been. I feel like that might have been from one of the David Louise SBC packs. And in which case, we did David Louise. Not only did we do David Louise for free because of the profit we made off David Louise coming out with regards to Perisic. But we also did David Luiz for free because we packed Kante in the David Luiz pack. <laughs> That's actually sick. Okay, right. Mega pack. 35k pack. What are you saying? I'm pretty sure it was. And I'm pretty sure you get better pack luck out of SBC packs than you do like actual normal packs like foot jumps and buying the packs. Maybe that's just me. But I swear it's actually a thing. I swear it is. Okay. That was pretty tragic. I also swear that you get actually better coin return from silver packs than you do gold packs, which is pretty crazy. If you rage quit the foot draft in the first round, quite often you get given a rare silver players pack or a premium silver players pack or something like that. And you're much more likely to make like 20k from a player from a silver player than you are from a gold one, which is pretty nuts. So packs are a little bit crazy, but one of ours had Kante in after one of ours having Laporte and Fernandinho and Salah and Crespo and we got Red Aguero. My, my luck has been absolutely stupid recently. It's getting ridiculous to be honest with you, but I'm not going to complain about it at all, which is going to help me buy sick, just even sicker players. It's quality. This is the last pack. This is the last pack of the video. I'll leave it there. I was, let me know if you think I should go and buy that UCL live Van Dyke. It's kind of a gamble on Liverpool getting through against Bayern, which is a bit of a gamble, to be honest with you. But at the same time, he's still always going to be 90 rated. But then his inform is 150k cheaper because that's actually always going to be 90 rated. He crashed in price a lot. He's at 800k and he's down to about 650, 680, something like that at the moment when I'm recording this. That's because they didn't win the first leg. If they'd have won the first leg, he would have gone up to 91 straight away. But there's still the option for him to go up to 91 by going through into the next round. So... It's mostly a gamble on whether I think Liverpool are going to go through, to be honest with you. But it could be a decent one. And we could maybe even just buy him now and sell him as the hype goes up for Liverpool potentially going through or something before the game. Maybe he'll go back up to like 750k or something. I don't really know. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Send me all your abuse for me being an absolute numpty and forgetting to re redeem my foot champs, which is just... It's my own fault. It's the, the system's stupid. But I was stupid for not redeeming it as well. I mean, I didn't have the tokens. I would have to earn them. But I just completely forgot about it. So yeah, feel free to call this an idiot road to glory because it most definitely is. But at the same time, it's an incredibly pack lucky man's road to glory. And he's got a new mic. It sounds pretty cool. So we got some stuff going for us. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. I'll see you soon for another one.